Hey everybody, Jen Appleberry here with Appleberry's Attic Craft Studio, and we are so excited to bring you a tutorial today on felt flowers. You guys, felt flowers are one of my favorite things to work with. They add such a phenomenal pop to almost any project you work with. A lot of times felt flowers can seem very overwhelming to people, and I understand that. But in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you two simple ways to make them yourself or I'm gonna show you a die cut flower, which means it's pre-cut and it's already ready to rock and roll. Now, if you've stopped by an Appleberry's Attic um, walk-in workshop or you've gotten this in one of your kits, you potentially have gotten a die cut or pre-cut felt flower. These are so easy to work with, so I wanna show you today how to roll this. But if you didn't receive this, you didn't like the color, or maybe you just wanna add your own felt flowers to a project, well then I wanna show you how to make two simple felt flowers in today's video. So let's first get started with this pre-cut one. So the pre-cut is actually going to come kind of almost looking like a flower. See how it's almost looking there? But what it needs to do is it needs to become 3D and it needs to be rolled and brought to life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the smaller piece. You'll notice that on a pre-cut felt floral, it's got a bigger piece that is kind of the lid. This is what will close the floral. And then it's got the smaller tip of it right here. And this is what we wanna start with today. Now, I'm gonna take my smallest finger and I'm gonna go ahead and hold that felt in my finger. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping, making sure all of the petals are going the same direction. So in this case, all of the petals are going towards my hand and I'm just gonna keep rolling. Now on a pre-cut felt flower, the petals really are doing the work for you. As long as you keep them lined up as you're wrapping, they'll do all the work. Now once I've got to this point, you can see that my pinky is kind of still in there and the felt flower's been rolled together and I'm now at this part towards the lid that will close it. I'm gonna slide that off my hand Working with a hot glue gun. Kids, if you're watching this video, be careful because a hot glue gun is not cold, it is hot. Honestly, it's not just kids. I really should say grown women too. <laughs> We've had a few guest crafters come on that have burned themselves, so be extra careful. But put some hot glue on that lid, like we're calling it, and then go ahead and close the lid on that flower, gluing the bottom and all those layers together. All right. Now at this point, you have got yourself a super cute felt floral. Now what I wanna say at this point is that it may feel a little fragile. And so what I like to do before I completely call her finished is peel back a couple layers, add a little dab of glue at the base, and then close it. Move to another spot, a little dab of glue, and close it. Essentially what you're doing is you're gluing that next petal to the next layer. So it's really just reinforcing it and making sure that she stays nice and put together. We don't want this felt floral to be all floppy and kind of loosey-goosey. So I'm gonna add a little bit more here. And there, my dears, we have a super cute little felt rose. Now this is gonna be really cute to add as like a bunny tail or add it to a cute little sign in a cluster for um, Christmas or Valentine's Day. There's so many fun ways that you can work with these. Now let's go ahead and talk about making your own because maybe you didn't receive a pre-cut felt floral or maybe you're just wanting to add one in a different color or add more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about two different ones and the first one I'm gonna show you is an exact same object to this one. It's called the rolled rose. So the rolled rose, is gonna start out with just a square piece of felt. And honestly, you can use whatever size felt you want. The larger the square, the larger the flower. The smaller the square, the smaller the flower, okay? So I've already got myself a pre-cut square. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to cut out what I like to refer to as a fluffy cloud. I feel very, <laughs> I feel very Bob Ross right now, okay? So we're cutting out a fluffy cloud, ladies. And what we're gonna do is by cutting out this fluffy cloud shape is we're creating the outside perimeter of a felt flower, like a rose. Once I've got my fluffy cloud, just like so, set that off to the side. 
Now with this fluffy cloud shape, I'm gonna go ahead and go in at one spot, and then I'm going to spiral cut this all the way to the middle. But when I spiral cut it, I don't wanna keep a straight edge. I want this to be a cute rolled flower with beautiful petals. So you can see as I spiral cut this, I'm doing again that cloud motion. And I'm just gonna keep going all the way till I get to the center. Now, if you get one petal that gets a little wonky or maybe too sharp of an edge, you can always give this flower a haircut if she needs it once she's rolled or towards the end. And then at the very end, you'll see how I left that exact same lid that we talked about closing on the last one. And now I've got this long piece of felt that's ready to be rolled. Same concept would happen, ladies. Take that pointed piece, put it on your pinky, and just start rolling, rolling, and rolling. Making sure those petals stay face the same direction, they line up, and what you'll do is you'll just continue to wrap, 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 wrap. You know the drill, hot glue, close the lid, and we've got ourselves a cutie little rolled rose. Same concept as the pre-cut floral, but this was a way for you girls to be able to feel confident to make it at home, okay? Now, moving on, next one, and this is probably one of my favorite florals because it's the easiest. I honestly have never met anyone, well, okay, maybe one person, but I've never met anyone besides that one person who can't seem to roll a pom-pom flower. So this is very simple, very easy, and again, can be made at home to elevate and add to any project. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off by taking a longer piece of felt, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run a bead of hot glue on one side, and then you're gonna see me fold this over. Sometimes when I'm doing this tutorial in studio, I like to, when it's finished, it looks like a pom-pom, but to get girls to remember how to make this, I'll sometimes refer to it as the hot dog flower. You'll see why in a second. Okay. Hot glue all the way down that edge. And now I'm gonna fold this over. Don't burn yourselves. I'm gonna fold it over kind of like a hot dog bun. Did you, did you get that? Did you kind of see that reference? I've folded it over like a hot dog bun. Now I just did a line of glue. Don't saturate that whole side with glue because what you need is you need the bottom of the bun, do you kind of see that? You need the bottom of the bun to stay open. Now what I'm gonna do is working with this piece, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the glued piece out. I'm gonna work with the fluffy spot, so let's think of that as the bottom of the hot dog bun. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut little slits gently and slowly until I feel the groove of that hot glue. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep cutting these all the way down. Stop yourself when you get to that hot glue. Now, if you accidentally at this point were to go chop and cut the whole thing off, that's okay. Don't cry, don't give up ladies, keep going. All you've done is just really make a shorter flower, right? So no sense crying over spilt milk or a short flower, just keep going, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and cut slits all the way down to the bottom of this. And then what you're gonna do is roll, 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 and roll. And as you're rolling, keeping that bottom glued portion in your hand, as you keep rolling, ladies, you're rolling the cutest, oh, excited, most pom-pom flower out there. At this point, what I would do to keep it together once I've rolled the whole hot dog bun up, add a dab of hot glue, Close that and glue it together. And then there you go, my dears. If you wanted to an extra step, let's say that you wanted extra reinforcement, you could cut out a felt circle and add a felt circle to the bottom to really close that lid. Remember, we've been talking about closing the lid on the bottom. You could do that. But in my case, I would just go ahead and instantly glue it to like the bunny's tail or right onto my board or maybe my cute little wooden cutout of a mason jar. 
But either way, you've got this cute rolled flower that is gonna be an amazing piece to add to any of the products that you're working with or projects you're creating. One other thing I like to mention, as I'm kind of bringing these all in and showing you, is a couple fun ways to finish these off, is I love working with wood buttons. Wood buttons are a very underrated craft material. And what you can do with a rolled flower like this one is I could take a wood button and hot glue it right into the middle of that. Do you see how cute that is? It just, again, adds another element of texture, which I adore. Last but not least, you can always find some green felt and you can go ahead and add a cute little leaf right to the side of your flower. Again, just giving it that elevated texture that we're so looking for on some of our DIY projects. All right, ladies, that's it. We've taught you how to work with a pre-cut felt flower. We've taught you how to roll your own rolled rose. And then one of our favorite, because it's the easiest, is the pom-pom felt flower. So we're so excited that you guys got to learn this trick with us today. We can't wait to see what you'll create with it. Happy crafting, everybody.